couple. There was a couple hiccups in the Ohio, in the Ohio State across the field. I know you're working hard. Good work. Good work. Work should be. This is my, I think, fourth Penn State game ever, and uh, the whiteout game. I've only heard stories. I am super pumped. I've heard like amazing things about how loud it is, how different it is. I'm very excited about this game, especially because it's a whiteout and it's my first whiteout. This is my third one. The first year with Ohio State, that was incredible. I was, I was in awe. I looked up and I just see a sea of white. Uh, I, I could hardly get a note out during pregame, but luckily I didn't play through the whole thing. My first night game, marching pregame, was Ohio State two years ago, which was insane. I like get goosebumps every time I think about it. So I'm excited to like go back and have that opportunity to have that experience again. I'm definitely really, really excited to be able to march out there on the field and just have everyone roaring around us. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Last year, it was kind of routine for me. Like I was saying, you know, you get more acclimated with it. It's just another game, but at the same time, it's not just another game. There's nothing like a Penn State whiteout. During a whiteout, it's crazy. I can't compare it to anything. It's just paranoia the whole time. It's gonna be electric. The noise. The noise is deafening. The fans. The crowd is going wild. The game. Everyone's screaming. You can't even hear the person beside you counting. This year, I think it's gonna be a whole new, whole new ball game. Uh, there's gonna be more enthusiasm, more people. I think we're gonna break the record tomorrow um, for Beaver Stadium capacity, and I think it's just gonna be a great game, a great performance for the Blue Band. We're running the top to bottom, ladies and gentlemen. some rest okay uh, so that we can so we can uh, accomplish all of our goals tomorrow and having their big parties and all of that hey why don't you come out join us the answer is no they do not have the responsibility that you have they do not have the opportunity that you have and your true friends will acknowledge that all right and you don't have to worry about going to get dinner tomorrow because I'll have chick-fil-a for you <laughs> Or salad.
and we want to continue to contribute to that legacy. I am so honored to be your director. Every time I see each one of you, I see myself. You guys make me so proud. It is easy, it's easy for us to do what we do and just keep doing it. As I say, if you, if you wanna go fast, go along. If you wanna go farther, go with somebody. Do it with the team. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a job to do. But when you go out there, I need you to have fun today, because I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> let's go do what we do, let's make our university proud. Let's make it a great day for Penn State. And as always, it's a great day to be in the Penn State Blue Band. To the red. our chance we dance around it's super fun it's super exciting and our first game the rookies don't know what we're doing so it's super fun to see them be excited and try to join in Some of my favorite traditions in the blue band are secret. <laughs> favorite tradition for the blue band, pregame by far. I would say pregame is probably my favorite tradition. The drill is so old. Marching out of the tunnel is very exciting. There's so much excitement and energy, and especially on a whiteout weekend, that's something I look forward to every year. And this may be my last time, so I'm going to soak it all in. It's pretty normal up until we start moving downfield. Then when Jack hits the flip, everyone loses their mind and you can't hear yourself play anymore. It's, it's pretty wild. You really have to struggle to hear the taps even because it's so loud. We have two snares today doing tap offs instead of just one so everyone can hear because it's just going to be an avalanche of sound. pregame we all just hype each other up and it's really exciting when you first come out of the tunnel and then start marching onto the field. marching out of the tunnel, the drum line starts from the goal line, and that is something that you don't ever forget. You have 110,000 people screaming at you.
national champions, the Penn State Majorettes of Touch of Blue, featuring Blue Sapphire Jillian Brooks. Go, go. when we do our routine on the field. I don't know if anyone could even hear it from the stands. Seeing everyone around, it's just, it's amazing. I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. to do, I get it done, and it doesn't hit me until after I've done it that I just had a pregame that was awesome in front of the world, basically. Oh, incredible. This is the first whiteout game that I've marched because I'm a freshman, so it's it's exactly as they described it. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. You can feel the crowd speaking, definitely. It's so loud. After Jack's uh, flip, flip, flip yeah, yeah, I definitely felt it. You're just like in it and it's so crazy and it's so exciting and you really feel like you're a part of this team that is Penn State. in it, my aunt was in it, and I've been going to the games, so I kind of saw how they worked. The energy that we give off in the stadium, it feeds off of the environment of the crowd and the football team and everything that's going on, and like I think that the blue band especially really powers the crowd and everything around them, and I think that they're a great part of Penn State and like a staple of Penn State. One, two,
definitely changed from the uh, time I got here. When I got here, you know, I was a wide-eyed freshman rookie, you know, coming in not really knowing my place and my role. Just thought I would show up and play drums and hopefully get by the year. But as I started to progress more into my tenure here, um, I started to take more responsibility for myself and the people around me. And it turned out to be really, you know, helpful. Since this year I got a guide position um, and I'm enjoying it. It's challenging me, but I'm learning as we go and I expect to get nothing but better from here. It's a lot of extra work, but I think it's really enriched my college experience. I get to see a lot of things that, you know, your average college student won't get to see. Like, I get to be on the field during the game, I get to see the tunnel. Seeing everything from the perspective of the band is so much fun, and you know, I really am lucky. Watching them my whole life, I've seen changes in the band, but now to be part of it and actually experience those traditions that I've been watching uh, since I was a baby, it's really, really fun. I know my grandfather would be proud of me, my aunt would be proud of me, um, my parents are beyond thrilled. That's what they've wanted their whole entire life to see me grow up and be in this, so it's really fun. Hey, no, I 